The saying goes, self-esteem is the reputation we acquire with ourselves, Nathaniel Brandon. Hello there, friends, it's Saeed Risalat, your buddy, here to share something really cool with you. Have you ever had those moments when you just need a quick boost of confidence? Well, I've got you covered, in this video, I'm going to share some super easy ways to boost your self-esteem in just minutes. Why should you watch? Because we all need a little pick-me-up now and then, right? Plus, who doesn't want to feel more confident and awesome? So, grab a seat, hit that play button, and let's boost that self-esteem together, you won't want to miss it. Today I've got something awesome to share with you. We all have those moments when we could use a quick confidence boost, am I right? Whether it's before a big presentation, a date, or just a regular day when you need to feel your best, boosting your self-esteem can make all the difference. In this video, I'm going to show you some super easy and quick ways to boost your self-esteem in just minutes. These tips are practical, effective, and can be done anytime, anywhere. So, if you're ready to feel more confident and awesome, stick around. So, this first part of our self-esteem boosting journey, we're going to talk about the power of body language. That's right, striking a powerful pose can actually boost your confidence in just minutes. Have you ever heard of the power pose? It's a concept popularized by social psychologist Amy Cuddy, and it's all about adopting a posture that makes you feel strong and confident. So, whether you're standing up straight with your shoulders back or even doing the iconic Wonder Woman pose with your hands on your hips, these poses can actually trick your brain into feeling more powerful and confident. Imagine this. You have a big presentation coming up, and you're feeling nervous. Instead of slouching in your chair and looking down at your notes, try standing up tall, chest out, and head held high. You'll instantly feel more confident and ready to take on the world. Let me share a quick story with you. My friend was feeling really nervous before a job interview, so I told her about the power pose. She went to the restroom, stood in front of the mirror, and struck a pose for two minutes. When she walked into that interview room, she was like a completely different person, confident, poised, and ready to impress. And you know what? She got the job. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Saeed, how can standing in a certain way actually make me feel more confident? Well, it all comes down to body language and how it affects our brain. When we adopt a powerful pose, our body sends signals to our brain that we are confident and in control. This, in turn, can lead to a boost in self-esteem and a more positive mindset. So, the next time you're feeling nervous or unsure of yourself, try striking a power pose for a few minutes. You might be surprised at how much more confident and empowered you feel. And hey, if you're watching this video right now, why not pause it and try out a power pose for yourself? Trust me, you'll thank me later. Stay tuned for the next part of our series, where we'll dive into the world of positive affirmations and how they can supercharge your self-esteem. Until then, keep striking those power poses and remember, you're awesome just the way you are. This is part 2 of our self-esteem boosting series, Today, we're going to dive into the wonderful world of positive affirmations. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly are affirmations? Well, they're simply positive statements that you repeat to yourself to boost your confidence and improve your mindset. Imagine this. You're getting ready for a big day ahead, and you're feeling a bit nervous. Instead of letting those negative thoughts take over, try saying some positive affirmations out loud. Repeat phrases like, I am confident, I am capable, and I believe in myself. It might sound simple, but these affirmations can have a powerful impact on your self-esteem. I remember a time when I was feeling really overwhelmed with work. I kept telling myself that I wasn't good enough and that I couldn't handle the pressure. 
But then, I started practicing positive affirmations every day. I would look in the mirror and say, I am strong, I am capable, and I can handle anything that comes my way. And you know what? It made a huge difference. I started to believe in myself more, and my confidence soared. Now, I know that it might feel a bit silly at first, talking to yourself in the mirror and all. But trust me, it works. When you repeat these positive affirmations, you're reprogramming your subconscious mind to believe in your own abilities. And the more you practice, the more confident you'll become. So, the next time you're feeling down or insecure, try practicing some positive affirmations. Write them down on sticky notes and place them around your house, or say them out loud in front of the mirror. You'll be amazed at how much better you feel. And hey, if you're watching this video right now, why not try saying some positive affirmations with me? Repeat after me. I am confident, I am capable, I believe in myself. Keep repeating these affirmations every day, and watch as your self-esteem grows stronger and stronger. That's it for part 2 of our series. Stay tuned for part 3, where we'll explore the power of setting and achieving small goals for a confidence boost. Remember, you are amazing and capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. We are back with another awesome tip to boost your self-esteem. In this third part of our series, we're going to talk about the power of setting and achieving small goals. That's right, accomplishing even the smallest of tasks can give your confidence a huge boost. Think about it. Have you ever made a to-do list and felt super satisfied when you checked off each item? That feeling of accomplishment is what we're after here. When you set small, achievable goals for yourself, you're building your confidence and proving to yourself that you can do anything you set your mind to. Let me share a personal story with you. I used to struggle with procrastination, and it really took a toll on my self-esteem. I felt like I couldn't get anything done, and it made me doubt my abilities. But then, I started setting small goals for myself every day. Whether it was finishing a chapter of a book or going for a short walk, these goals helped me feel more in control and capable. So, how can you apply this to your own life? Start by setting one small goal for yourself every day. It could be something as simple as making your bed in the morning or drinking a glass of water when you wake up. The key is to make it something achievable that you can easily accomplish. Now, here's the fun part. Celebrate your successes. When you achieve your goal, no matter how small, take a moment to celebrate. You could treat yourself to a nice cup of coffee or simply pat yourself on the back. By celebrating your achievements, you're reinforcing positive behavior and boosting your self-esteem even more. And hey, if you're watching this video right now, why not set a small goal for yourself? Pause the video, think of one thing you can do today to make yourself feel accomplished, and go do it. You'll be surprised at how good it feels to check that goal off your list. That's it for part 3 of our series. Stay tuned for part 4, where we'll talk about the importance of reflecting on your strengths and achievements. Remember, you are capable of amazing things, so go out there and crush those goals. See you in the next video. The final part of our self-esteem boosting series. In this last installment, we're going to talk about the importance of reflecting on your strengths and achievements. It's time to give yourself some well-deserved credit. We all have moments when we feel like we're not good enough or that we haven't accomplished anything. But the truth is, we all have strengths and achievements that make us unique and valuable. By taking the time to reflect on these, you can boost your self-esteem and feel more confident in yourself. Let me share a personal story with you. There was a time when I was feeling really down on myself. I felt like I hadn't achieved anything significant and that I wasn't good at anything. But then, I started writing down my strengths and achievements, no matter how small they seemed. 
I wrote about times when I had helped a friend in need or when I had overcome a difficult challenge. And you know what? It made me realize that I had a lot to be proud of. So, how can you start reflecting on your own strengths and achievements? Grab a pen and paper, and start writing down anything positive that comes to mind. It could be a skill you're good at, a personality trait you admire, or a past achievement you're proud of. The key is to focus on the positives and remind yourself of all the amazing things you've done. Now, here's where it gets really fun. Create a strengths and achievements jar. Decorate a jar or container and fill it with notes about your strengths and achievements. Whenever you're feeling down or lacking in confidence, simply pull out a note and remind yourself of how awesome you are. And hey, if you're watching this video right now, why not take a moment to reflect on your own strengths and achievements? Pause the video, grab a pen and paper, and write down three things you're proud of accomplishing. It could be something as simple as getting out of bed this morning or as significant as landing your dream job. Whatever it is, celebrate it and give yourself a pat on the back. That's it for our series on boosting self-esteem. I hope you've learned some valuable tips and tricks to help you feel more confident and empowered. Remember, you are amazing just the way you are, and you have so much to offer the world. Keep shining bright, and never forget to love yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And that's a wrap on our self-esteem boosting journey, folks. We've covered everything from power poses to positive affirmations, setting goals, and reflecting on our strengths and achievements. Remember, boosting your self-esteem is all about loving yourself and recognizing your own worth. So, the next time you're feeling down or insecure, try out some of these tips and watch as your confidence soars. You've got this. Thanks for joining me on this adventure, and until next time, keep believing in yourself and embracing all the amazing things that make you, you, stay awesome, friends. Interesting fact. Did you know that self-esteem can affect your physical health? People with high self-esteem tend to have better immune systems and are more likely to take care of themselves. Thank you and have a nice day.